From above, the atomic bomb named Little Boy looked like this. Below, in Japan's industrial city of Hiroshima, 13-year-old Setsuko Nakamura saw a bluish-white flash, and the walls around her crumbled. And then I had the sensation of floating in the air. Friends, classmates, who were with me in the same room, were burned to death alive. Somehow she stumbled outside. Some people were carrying their own eyeballs in their hands. Nobody was shouting for help, just simply asking for water, water please. Most of her family was out of town safe, but her sister and nephew were killed crossing a bridge. My mother said she identified her daughter only by the special unique hairpin she was wearing. You just couldn't tell who's who, whether you're a man and a woman. Three days later, on August 9, 1945, the U.S. dropped another nuclear bomb on Japan. This one on Nagasaki. The U.S. Energy Department estimates more than 100,000 people died instantly in the two blasts. I have received this afternoon a message from the Japanese government. Within a week, Japan surrendered and World War II was over. But survivors continued to suffer. In this film taken at a Nagasaki hospital, the U.S. called this 16-year-old boy patient number 50. His name was Sumiteru Taniguchi. With his skin burned off his back, he had to lie face down for a year and nine months. I was really struggling on the border between life and death, often screaming, kill me, kill me. It was a very hard time. Lying on his chest for so long, it collapsed. I ask if he's still in pain. It doesn't pain me, but I still feel pressure on my heart. In the seven decades since the bombings, Japanese families have mourned the loss of many others who died from cancer and other illnesses linked to the attacks. The more I learned, the more angry I became because I could see injustice. Whom were you angry at? The United States for using such an inhumane, immoral thing. You're in the U.S. now. Do you still feel resentment toward the United States? Of course I do. Does the U.S. owe Japan and owe people like you an apology? It does. At least morally. What about the argument that using the nuclear weapons on Japan helped end the war sooner and maybe saved hundreds of thousands of lives on both sides? Well, that's an American myth and very faulty theory. The war was actually had ended by that time. Historians debate those points to this day. But Satsuko Nakamura Thurlow has spent these years determined that nuclear weapons should never be used again. My little nephew, four years old, who became the chunk of meat, the burnt meat, well, their image just lives in my brain. That image just drives me, compels me to speak. So every five years, she and Taniguchi join other survivors and supporters in New York, demanding that countries do more faster to eliminate nuclear weapons. Thousands of people are marching toward the UN. They're delivering a petition with eight million signatures calling for a ban on nuclear weapons. The delivery comes just before the five-year review of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty at the UN. The 1970 treaty is meant to stop the spread of nuclear weapons. But more nations have nuclear weapons than ever before, and concerns are growing that countries that don't have them could get them soon. We talk about disarmament, but, but we haven't really made the progress. So what needs to be done? They really have to be taking this issue seriously and come to realize they hold in their hands the fate of humanity. These survivors say they'll keep telling their stories 
until they no longer can. I am now 86 years old, and I have gathered my last strength to come on this trip. I believe this will be my last trip to the United States, but I come with hope to change things. That's the vow I made to my loved ones. We do the best we can. This will never happen again. Roxana Saberi, Al Jazeera, New York. Both Thurlow and Taniguchi have been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Both are also opposed to the peaceful use of nuclear energy. They say there's a danger of another disaster like the one at Japan's Fukushima nuclear power plant in 2011.